It's everyone's favorite day of the year, tax day. And so today for the Morning Minute, we're going to read a passage that will help us to see why we pay taxes and why we should be subject to our government in this area, even though we don't necessarily like having to write checks. When you look in Romans chapter 13, the Apostle Paul says these things. He's starting off in verse 6. He says, For because of this, that is, because of our conscience, and because God has said that these things are so, so because of those things, for the sake of our conscience, and in order that we can obey God's commandments, for, for because of this you also pay taxes, for the authority these are ministers of God, attending to this very thing. Pay to all what is owed to them, taxes to whom taxes are due, revenue to whom revenue is owed, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. Our role as Christians in our country, in any country that we happen to live in, but in particular in the United States, our role as Christians in this country is to obey the laws that our government creates for the sake of our conscience, for the sake of our conduct toward God, and so that other people will see our conduct and glorify our Father who is in heaven. So we pay taxes because the government is God's minister. It's not, not necessarily that God has specifically chosen the United States government, but government in general is God's minister to keep peace and to punish those who do wrong. So we pay taxes to support that role of government. We pay taxes because God has commanded us to submit to our government. And keeping this in mind, in this election year, when we begin to talk about various candidates, we need to honor those who are serving in various capacities in our government, because that's what God said to do. Doesn't mean you have to agree with them, doesn't mean you have to vote for them, but we do have to give them honor and respect because they are part of the government. And so as we're reading through the scriptures and, and seeing how these things apply in our daily lives, today's Morning Minute comes from Romans chapter 13, verses 6 and 7.